Hi, welcome to part two featuring the Chidi Tech Shadow 5.5S. If you haven't seen my first video, go ahead and click here where I show the unboxing as well as setup and my first print. And so it's important that you check that out because I show all the things that come with this set, which is amazing. Uh, in particular, it actually comes with resin, which is different than the other budget resin printers. So make sure you see that first. So I've been printing for five days. So all of these models that you see in front of me, uh, I've been printing like mad, uh, learning how to do resin printing, which is very different. Except for this model here, this I printed off of my regular FDM printer. I have a Prusa uh, MK3S, but is part of this set where I printed out from Artisan Guild. They just had a Kickstarter called Amazons. And so most of the prints that I made is from that set. Really excited to tell you more about this machine. But before I do that, I know you want to look at the quality and the detail that can be achieved. Let me show you just a couple of these amazing models. And as a person who's had a FDM printer for the last couple of years, and my first foray into resin printing, I am just absolutely blown away by these models. I mean, take a look at, again, these uh, Amazon models from Artisan Guild and compare it to a production miniature. So this miniature here to the right is from my game of the year of 2019, Madara. And um, it's fine, but the resin printed miniature, I think actually has more detail and looks better than even this production model here to the right. And so I'm just blown away. There's, you can't even tell that this was printed. It looks like um, plastic, molded plastic, without even the mold lines. So I am just absolutely astounded at the level of detail that can be achieved by these 3D printers. And one of my friends and, and Patreon supporters sent me some of the prints that he made on his Elegoo Mars. And I'm really impressed overall with these budget printers. I think you're gonna get the same level of print. I don't think there's gonna be a lot of difference between them. And that's gonna be true with the shadow. I don't know if I notice a huge qualitative difference between the Elegoo Mars and the Shadow uh, 5.5S. You're gonna get very similar prints, especially since the LCD screen and resolution is exactly the same. It's 2K for both the Elegoo Mars, uh, Anycubic Photon, the Epax X1, as well as the Shadow. So they have the same resolution. But in terms of quality of life and in terms of the quality of the machine itself, uh, I'm gonna argue that the Chidi Tech is better uh, compared to at least the Elegoo Mars as well as the Photon. Here are some of the similarities that you're gonna find with this machine compared to the other budget printers. As I mentioned before, you have the same 2K resolution on the LCD screen. This machine retails for $300, which is very close to the price point of the Elegoo Mars. At least the Elegoo Mars Pro I know is gonna be $300. The Epax X1 is $400, so it's $100 more. Uh, I think this at uh, $300 is a really good deal. The touch screen is very similar to the Elegoo Mars. And in fact, uh, for a second, I thought it was the exact same screen. And it's very intuitive and I found it very easy to navigate through all of the buttons and menus. The big thing about why I was moving towards the Elegoo Mars Pro is because of this removable cover. And this is the reason why I decided against the Anycubic Photon is because it felt really restricted. It had a hinge where you don't have access to the sides. And the thing I like about both the Elegoo Mars as well as the Shadow is that you can remove this whole canopy and you have access to the entire upper part of the machine. So I really wanted that feature. Now, what does the Shadow do better than the Elegoo Mars or the um, Anycubic Photon or even the Epax X1? I like the fact that the USB port is available here on the side. The big thing for me, and this was why I was, I was waiting for the Elegoo Mars Pro, is that it has dual Z-axis rails. I have heard about owners of the Anycubic Photon getting sh some line shifts in their prints because of the single rail. But look how wide this rail is. And this is all machined metal, no plastic parts here. So you know that these prints are gonna stay rock solid moving up and down on the Z-axis. And in fact, the overall build quality of this machine feels really good. It's a fairly heavy machine. And so you know that it's not gonna move anywhere. And all of these parts up here is machined metal. And so 
it doesn't have a cheap feel to it. So one of the things that I really like about this as well is the dual active activated carbon filter system. I had heard about some people complaining about the smell of working with resin. And so uh, the Elgu Mars Pro I know was coming out with a filter system. And so I'm glad that they have a dual activated carbon uh, filtration system here. And it does work. Now, like I mentioned in my previous video, I'm not that bothered by this resin smell. And it might possibly be because both this resin that came with it, as well as um, the Sierra Tech that I use is both low odor resin. So I have not tried um, regular odor resins. I did order and receive the um, Elegoo resin, which I know is a go-to resin for a lot of people. So I haven't cracked this open. I don't know what it smells like, but at least with these low odor ones, I don't notice the smell very much. And once you put the cover on here and the filter is going, I don't notice the smell hardly at all. Now, do these filters work? According to Alex of Super Make Something, it does. So if you wanna check out his video of where he actually measures, go ahead and click here and you can check that out as well. So I really appreciate that that's included here. Also, I think having instructional videos right on the thumb drive that comes with the machine is really, really helpful. Again, as I mentioned in my first video, I use that video to, to level my bed and to see how much the paper should move around underneath while leveling, and that was really helpful. And a lot of other tutorial videos that will show you to, how to troubleshoot if you do have issues and problems. So I appreciate that a lot. I like that Cheeto Box is included on the thumb drive and that you can download onto your laptop or computer right away. I like that um, it also has the profile for the shadow that you can import into Cheeto Box. So all of those things made it super easy where I wasn't fiddling around and I was able to print this test file without even going onto the computer. Finally, I think the biggest selling point for the Chidi Tech over the Elegoo Mars or the Epax X1 or the Anycubic Photon is their customer support. Chidi is famous for having amazing customer support. And in all honesty, I was a little bit surprised by this. And the reason why I know is because I actually emailed both Elegoo and EPAX, talking to them about possibly collaborating and doing a review video. Now, Elegoo never got back to me. So I sent them a message and they never, even to this day, ever responded. So I don't know what's up with that. And EPAX, I actually got a response fairly quickly and we were um, talking back and forth about collaboration, but all of a sudden I stopped hearing from the guy. And so I'm not sure, you know, he, he might have you know, decided not to work with me, that which was totally fine, but I wish he would have said something saying, oh, I don't think this is gonna work out, thank you for reaching out. But all of a sudden, you know, no communication. And you would think because EPAX is an American company that they would have the best customer service, but no, actually Chidi has some of the best customer service where many, many people, and you can look at reviews about people having issues and being able to contact them. I love that they just put uh, two contacts right here on a sticker if you have any issues you can email them and they will get back to you very quickly. And so I've had a great experience, uh, not only with just uh, setting up a collaboration where I got the 50% off for GearBest from GearBest to do this review, but also with Chidi in troubleshooting any issues that I might have. So out of the different companies, at least from my limited experience, and granted it is limited, the customer support is worth the money and this isn't even more expensive than the other ones and so i think that in and of itself uh, tells you a lot about a company that they stand behind their product and so with that i really do recommend the shadow 5.5 s over the elegumars and over the anycubic photon and even over the epax x1 especially since that machine is a hundred dollars more and this machine has a lot of the features of why uh, the Epax X1 is attractive. Again, very solid build, a very strong contender for that, um, has these uh, filters as well. So this comes with a Gaming Geek's seal of approval. Go ahead and like this video if it was helpful for you. Uh, subscribe to my channel. Also make sure you check out my Patreon page where we give a monthly giveaway of uh, some tabletop game or painted terrain. So make sure you check that out. Otherwise, Happy printing, happy gaming. We'll see you next time.